Yo, uh, Guan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to favorite or save patches or instruments in Omnisphere using FL Studio. Now, you can do this using any other DAW, but I'm going to be showing how to do it in FL Studio, although the same things will apply to every DAW because when you open up Omnisphere, it's the same in every DAW. So, this will enable you to basically save a selection of patches in each folder so that you can easily get to them and easily be like okay that's a good sound that i like let me favorite that there and then you can go back to it later when you're starting up a new beat and it's just going to make you save a lot of time when it comes to sound selection now if you wanted to know how to save your patches or instruments after you've edited them a little bit and save them as a new patch this video is not going to show you how to do that but i am willing to do a video on how to do that because that's pretty easy so just comment down below if you want me to show you how to do that as well this is going to focus on favoriting those patches so that you can basically save them for later and you can always when you're opening up a new beat, you can find those patches and easily select them and get your beat up and running. It's what I use when I'm making new beats. I just quickly search, sort by favorites, and then I'm able to see, okay, these are the sounds that are good. Let me pick through these sounds and be like, okay, this is the sound or that's the sound, okay? So, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel. You will love it here. Now, my question of the day is what's your favorite sound in Omnisphere? Let me know in the comment section down below. And let's get straight into it, showing you how to do this. Now I've already got Omnisphere up. This is how Omnisphere shows up when you open it, first of all, and basically open it fresh. And then basically this is what you're going to be able to get. Now you can go to sort and sort by ratings. And these are all the sounds that I've decided are good enough for me to constantly go back to them. So this is the type of thing that I'm going to show you how to create. And if I go into a category like ARP and BPM, I only get, you know, the ones that I've rated in there. Those show up at the top and then I can, you know, go through the full list. But in Omnisphere, there's a lot of sounds. So when you find one that you like, it's really good to be able to put a star in it, favorite it, save it for later. Another way to do this is write it down. That's what I was doing before I knew how to do this, but this is a much easier way to get to stuff when you're opening up Omnisphere. So let me show you how to do it. Now, let's just go and we'll, we'll just go to this analog synth guitar. Why don't we? Now, I would not, <laughs> I would not add this to my thing, but in order to actually save this for later, all you need to do, you see these five little dots down here just left click on one of those dots and now you've given it a rating okay now the more you like it the more stars you want to give it so i'm going to give this a one star rating because it's it's weak basically it's not something that i would want to use and now if i come out of here into another category and i go back to up and bpm we can now see if i go to sort and go to ratings this new instrument that I've just added to my favorite list is here, it's at the top of my selection wheel. So when I come in here, I can easily find that. Now let's get rid of that. Ah, oh, I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't think you can get rid of the ratings, which is unfortunate. Now I have this there forever, something that I'm never gonna use. Another way to do this is to actually click up here in patch browser. And here it's a little bit easier to see these ratings like like so you can see what's going on here now i cannot just get rid of this and move this from my favorites that would have been great if i could but that is not the case here so if you accidentally rate something you're just going to need to give it a very low rating so you know not to use it but this is a using the patch browser is what i used to use to actually do this because it just it's just easier because everything's bigger and you can just see everything and you can search through things a whole lot more in depth so if i was to go to bells and vibes 
you'll see the bells and vibes that I've favorited over here. And basically, you just want to sort by ratings and you can go through the whole thing, like all these categories and you can find different ones. And you can even go even deeper into here if you've set ratings for these specific categories. And that's how you do it. That is it's as simple as that. Let's quickly recap. Basically, you want to find the instrument. Preferably go in a category first, so because then it's going to be easier. Go in a category, find an instrument that you like, and then give it a rating. And then once you give it a rating, you can sort by ratings, and everything that you've rated will be at the top of your list. So this allows you to save your instruments and patches that you really, really like, so that when you come to create another beat, you can quickly see all the instruments that you really, really like that already work for you. And you can use those and see what things sound like using those instruments. Of course, you can still explore and try other stuff and keep on adding to this list over time so that you have a large list of sounds that you know are really, really good. You know they're good for different scenarios and you can bring them up and use them whenever you want. This is gonna save you a lot of time so that you don't need to be typing in the name of the instrument every time you wanna find it. And you don't need to be searching Searching through the actual category every time you want to find the same instrument. I hope this has helped you out. If you've got any questions or any tutorials you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. Before you go, I want to remind you about my mixing template, which will help you get your beats mixed in half the time because basically everything's already mixed when you get in there all you need to do is set the levels and that sort of stuff. You've got all the effects, the EQs, everything that you need already there i've got a stock version and a version with all the plugins that i use link is down below or go to jcartaray.com forward slash rmb trap fl and you can grab this template it's going to save you a bunch of time i highly suggest you go grab it and in the next video you're going to learn more about music online business and online marketing so i'll see you there peace out